That's a little better. Okay. It just completely stuns them. It's weird. They're so mesmerized by the jingles that they can't fight or do anything. That, that, that sounds kind of... And then they start shooting each other. It's kind of awesome, but also kind of awful. Death by advert jingle. My God, what have I become? Sweetheart cake. Hey, not bad. Okay, Rizzo, point of sale, interaction, and uh, okay. Law, help me, help us all. I saw one frothing at the mouth, barely able to string a word or two together, walking at me as if it wasn't to devour me whole. Zora was right. There are monsters here. We need to get out of here if we want to live. Cecil, you aren't insane. These were people once. I don't know what they are now. Uh, March the 11th. These crazy assholes don't know how to use a keypad. I took one from my clinic office and installed it on the bridge gate. Be safe. Ooh. We can open... We can go across that bridge. And I actually really want to go across that bridge. Yes, I do. Okay, was there anything? No. Finally. Got her bloody space cake. Pick up full cranial helmet. What's a full cranial helmet? What? Heavy. Iconoclast armor. All of the body parts to protect your cranium is the one with the da 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 da. 38 armor. That's. I, I mean, I don't like the look, but you can't deny the armor. Does that affect any skills as well? Probably. Speaking of, we need to raise a few, don't we? Yes, we've not been able to do uh, enough hacking, etc. Lockpick is too low. Uh, do I want more in... Yeah, yes I do. Preview, see what's inside lock containers. I thought I could do that anyway. Okay, it's all gone in there. <laughs> and I'm sure a thousand voices are saying, oh my god, no. But it means I can decide whether or not I'm going to open it before I open it. It's kind of nice. Okay, but we've got a bit of a mop-up operation to do here, I think. Did we go up here? I don't think we did. So this weapon is basically nuts. The red doors mean no, you can't come in. We've been over there, I'm guessing. Inquiring minds want to know. This is like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory had a nightmare. Yeah, we've been, we've been in here. The town is not actually all that big. Those holograms are garish. Okay, I don't think we've been down this corner of here, have we? No, clearly not. Find the steam. This just makes them fight each other by the look of it. Oh, 
Why am I not shooting? It's got a very slow recharge. Or oh, reload. Okay, this is probably the funnest weapon I've ever seen, but the Okay, it's like a mind control ray, basically. The noise it makes while it's firing is kind of... It's one of the most evil things I've ever heard of. Yes, it is. Oh, my God. Where are we? the noise it makes. Okay. Oh, it, I don't have to keep aim, it just it stays on them. Once you've hit one. And then even if I do this, it's still shooting at them. He really doesn't like the music. Like the most crazy weapon of all the science weapons. But definitely the craziest so far. Oh, she needs to uh, perk herself up a little. Think, are you getting up or did I shoot you and kill you? Hello? In combat. Oh, because we're still fighting, she can't get up. And once we're not in combat... Yep, she gets herself up. Okay. I was a little worried there. Okay, apparently I need to do a bit of repair. Oh, God, yeah. Repair all. Yeah, I think so. Why have I still got... Weapon parts. Oh, I don't have enough. Oh god. It doesn't. It doesn't run. It, it wears out quick. Worth getting all this. Damn, got some nimble fingers, Captain. Oh yeah, I should have been a guitar player. <laughs> the joke is, I actually am. Um, in real life. Right. Okay. Okay. Enough messing around with space ray gun mind control guns. Not that that wasn't an awful lot of fun, I'm going to be honest. But, uh, yeah, I think we got a little bit sidetracked there, even though it was for the... And we're stalking. And we're stalking. Looking for the way across. He mentioned he'd put a keypad because the bandits and marauders, etc., had become virtually brainless and couldn't do it. Enter access code. Access gate unlocked. Please be advised that harm to company assets or personnel as a result of the bridge being opened will be divided and taken from every cassette. Okay. Okay, we can get across. Here we go. 
think I did most of the damage there this time, folks. Yes, we did. Four all residents died. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Both of you. Oh, over here. Over here. Thank you. We went strolling into a mine. Hello. Wrong button. Uh, uh, breakdown. Take, take, take. Uh. Okay, and there's a ladders, which means I have to climb them and see what's up there. Oh, they've got ladders on their walls. And a walkway. So I could have climbed up these ladders from there. Have I been on there? I don't think I've been on there. Oh, is that what we're meant to do? To get on here? Like, there's no other way to get to this building or something. No. No. Oh. of amazed at just how much stuff is in this game. Yeah, I can pick that. Didn't pick it before on the way in though, which is kind of odd. We've not been in this building. Apparently not. Oh, public notice one one seven. Public notice. The this notice issued on January 12, 2343, serves as public dis denouncement of Terra One as a feasible workplace environment, due to the hostile and aggressive nature of the wildlife, as well as the unsuitability of its natural flora for use in human consumption. The Halcyon Holdings Corporation has officially enacted the hazard clause covering the entirety of Terra One. After an evacuation period of no more than six months, Terra One will officially be considered a legal territory. This is as a unanimous decision. Any corporation caught operating on Terra One after the evacuation period will face fines, possible disbarment, as defined in Halcyon Code 22.1. 2. Read the hazard clause. From Sumner Z to Theodore. I've received confirmation that Rizzo will soon abandon Terra One with the rest of the corporations. We are expected to maintain our exports until the day we leave. All teams will continue to operate until told otherwise. As of this time, I don't see the need to inform anyone outside the three of us of the board's decision. We don't want our workers thinking they're going to be reassigned. Just let them do what they do best, their jobs. Thanks, Summer. Summer. Uh, does this change our priorities at all? Should we begin scuttling research and focusing more on experts? It's had. No, we'll hit our export quotas for the next seven months at least. Project Potero is still our number one propriety. Okay. Re, 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 re. Shuttle redistribution. Mr. Zinger. And we regret to inform you that the shuttles en route to the bottling facility at Cascadia have been rerouted. The evacuation effort is prioritised in order of profitability, measured chiefly around the export volume. And as of this time, other facilities have proven themselves either more profitable or more efficient. The distribution system will send the minimum one shuttle for evacuation purposes. 
If you have more personnel that can fit on a standard shuttle, Rizzo recommends establishing a priority system so that the loading and preparation of that shuttle can proceed smoothly. Please be advised that any attempt to load more than the maximum amount of human resources onto the shuttle will be met with forcible intervention. What regards? <laughs> what? What a Project Patero. Surely it warrants additional resources. Mr. Ziegler. Research projects are not currently taken into consideration when calculating the profitability of any given settlement. Project Totero's importance may place it on a higher pri priority list, but we are still unable to send more than one shuttle for evacuation. We suggest you balance your resources accordingly. Warm regards, your friends in Rizzo, including Directorate. Wow. Kind of cold. To Theodore. We get one shuttle. By my estimate, the Project Patero assets, both human and otherwise, will take up approximately two-thirds of our available space. That leaves us with a couple more people we can take with us. We need to decide what we're going to decide. We need to decide how we are going to decide who, who else to take, perhaps a subcommittee to draft a decision-making plan. You know me, Sumner, I love subcommittees, but any decision we make is going to end up with pissed-off workers. Let's just ride out the Protero crew. We'll enjoy a bit of extra leg room once we're safe on T2. We can see about getting another shuttle sent out. Oh, really? What will we tell the workers? Um, we tell them that we're going to get them out. They just won't know we'll be on a shuttle at the time. It's fine. Do not tell them about the hazard clause. Our goal is to get out of here peacefully. No incidents. I don't want panic. I don't want a riot, law forbid a strike. Once we're out, we'll send work back with further plans. Until then, keep this among us. So you made sure you were getting out. Sod the workers left them to die. Well, aren't you humanitarians? So I guess that jumping across was just an alternate route. After all. And it plays the jingle every time I come near it. Interesting. Oh, hello. What the hell is... This. Open northern gate. Uh, before we do that, that's... This gate, is it not? Another poor resident. Okay. Oh. Found a mine, everyone. That's probably wrecking my armour, isn't it? Well, apparently, no. Oh, well, fair enough. Let's see what's down here, if anything. A little crowded in here with you, Sam. I think I'll be leaving you after this. I mean, not that you're not awesome, etc., but, you know. Okay, resident. Wrapped it on. Lock picks, etc. Sisty pig hoof. Do I really want a sisty pig hoof? Who the hell is down here? Oh, I can get in this one. Skeleton. I think that's one of the few skeletons we've ever discovered here. Okay, there. Herbert. Who the hell is Herbert? Is Herbert hostile? I think he might be. Journal entries. Bookwater. H. Available entries. Preparations. Dearest Margaret, Margaret, I fear that when you wake, 
You'll think I've abandoned you like Rizzo has. I assure you of the opposite. I have commenced pro preparations to ensure you and Herbert survive until you are both rescued. As for myself, I fear the worst. I will make every attempt to survive the, the coming months. But the bites I suffered while fleeing from the Raptodons show no signs of healing. I can only hope that you wake before I pass. But in the worst case, know that I love you both. Yours now, and well after my atoms have been consigned to the ether. Okay. Rationing. Dearest Margaret, our quarters here may be tiny, but Herbert continues to investigate its every nook and cranny with utter delight. I'm pleased to report he shows no signs of distress following our sojourn into this humble new home. I have bought with me everything I can take from the surface. Our ex-colleagues continue to try and live above ground, though they have barred the north gate from the encroaching raptodons. They remain unaware as to the existence of this hideaway, and I aim to keep it so. If they found my store of food, they surely, they, then they'd surely seek it and divide it amongst themselves. Recalling my emergency training, though, it was years ago, I have managed to secure in new intubination to sustain you while you sleep so peacefully. Properly rationed, our supplies will last some years. Surely enough that Rizzo will come to rescue us at the very least. Herbert shall survive well through his adolescent years with proper rationing, perhaps even into adulthood. As for myself, my wounds have begun to smell. Herbert pretends not to notice, but the way his nose crinkles reminds me of how you used to laugh. He grows with each passing day. Yours now, I'm well after my atoms, blah blah blah. Engineering a mother. Dearest Margaret, I hope you will not take offence should you one day wake and find an auto-mechanical preparing Herbert's meals or adjusting your intake tubes. It has taken quite an effort and many failures to which my new burns can attest to engineer an auto-mechanical to take care of any person, much less one infant and one comatose woman. With any luck, should the infection in my leg continue to grow, these medicines will handily replace my fatherly duties. Oh, these machines will handily replace my fatherly duties and maintain the loving required to raise Hubert and nurse you back to health. To my surprise, the cooking model is even capable of limited tutoring services. Yours now, and blah blah blah. Underwear. Here is more, Margaret. The auto mechanicals are working splendidly. Their fervour reminds me of my youth, years ago, before I became the exhausted husk I am today. Part of me is thankful that you cannot see me in such a state, with one useless leg and ominous streaks of black racing across my veins. I will leave you within a word of advice. In the absence of proper undergar undergarments, I have taught the auto mechanicals to wash tanned raptorhon hides for reuse. With the last vestiges of my strength, I collected a few from the service. Should you wake, I beg do not go up there. Remain here until rescued. Our colleagues have perished and only monsters now remain. Yours, blah, blah, blah. Oh, so he tried to set up a home for his wife and that? Journal entries, Buckwater, D. Letters. Father insists I practice my letters, so here we are. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, okay. Rizzo. Rizzo's purple berry crunch, ready to eat. Triple cake flakes, Burberry flavoured powered nuggets. Rizzo's berry, non-organic, the free. New three ounce, A, B, C, D, 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 D. Rizzo's knock you out can, 76 milk chocolate with caramel pea free nuts. It's time for a Kayo. Okay. Scythe. Today, Father finally let me use the candy cane. It's called a scythe. He showed me how to be safe and not to burn myself. Maybe I can use it to capture another woolly friend and make him proud. Father. Howard has not moved this morning. His tummy is very still and he is quiet like Mother was when Howard took her tubes out and cried all night. I think... Oh. White Hat is my father now. I don't know how he is able to... I don't know if he is... If it is able to be proud, but I will try my best. Oh, God. 
Access auto mechanical controls. Disable. Okay. Auto mechanicals disabled. Continue. Enable security. Exit. Entering quiet mode. Can I reason with Hubert? Apparently no. But I can't rob him apparently. Sugar Ops armor and a candy cane. Is Hubert like completely bonkers? Incoming. Oh damn it! Sorry, oh, Hubert. And we're alive. Kind of a shame. I was hoping I could kind of just leave him be, but. So it's kind of a sad tale, like, trying to survive, but... Sleep. Er, uh, no. So, Herbert did his best, but... It's kind of, is a real shame that... What was his armour, anyway? Was it super special? Yes, yes it was. And then what was the weapon? He said a scythe or something. A candy cane. Burn. Mr. N. N-ray damage. Okay. That's, it's really depressing that. But, you know, if you wanted blueberry crunch. There really was quite a lot of it left over. I suppose, did he just go nuts from eating nothing but that? I don't know if I want the hooves or anything, but... I'll just leave the mammoth alone. Okay, that was incredibly depressing. I just want to make that clear. That really was depressing. I didn't actually want to shoot him in the end. And okay, we're going to go open that gate and then we've got a nice handy way to get across again. This is something. Wasn't there a... Or was it in the... It was in this one, wasn't it? I just had it in my mind. It was in the last one. Okay. Or well, something like that, yeah. Okay. So we pretty much cleared all the animals out of here. It tries to play the jingle, but it can't. So we did get into that room. The police station, but I still haven't gotten into this one. I am not getting that high. There's no amount of gear that I have that I can put on that would make that work. Still, the ship's here. So we could... Two birds with one stone, don't buy this one. Give the food to Pavati. Uh, we've got all these to do here. We could nip back to the groundbreaker. That could be good. Have a little bit of a breather. And we've got to come back here. We've, we've still got a ton of stuff to do. But yeah, it would be nice to get a little bit of a break. Crew report. Bioka is drunk. Surprise. <laughs> no, it isn't. Batty. The best bat casserole Mr. Raymond made smells incredible. Oh, I kind of want to take a little taste, but I'm going to be strong. <laughs> now look how cute these cakes from Cascadia are. Someone even traced little hearts in them. Oh, I guess that settles dinner. Thanks for hauling me all over creation, Captain. <laughs> You're welcome. 
Shouldn't you be getting ready for June Lee now? Well, I was gonna, but then it hit me. Oh, God, what now? I got this nice meal all planned out with music, and I got that soap to scrub up with, but I don't got nothing nice to wear, Captain. Do you really need to do all this, or are you just putting off the date? Maybe you're right, and I'm, I'm stalling a bit. Yeah. But maybe I also need to, so as I can work up the courage. There's this place I heard of in Byzantium, Jolliker's Haberdashery. I bet I could find something nigh on perfect at a place like that. You know we can't get into Byzantium. Right? Well, not today, no, but maybe someday. You are, you're stalling, aren't you? I know this you? is all a little crazy, Captain, but I think it's gotta be this place. I saw the lady who runs it on Aetherwave, and, well, she made everybody she dressed feel better. Confident. All right, well, you know, if we ever get there, then we get there. Thanks, Captain. I know I've been asking a lot, but you help me out every time. You're the best. <laughs> well, you're kind of special, you know. So... Akoya is drunk. Have I got anything new in here? I keep coming to look just in case I've missed something. I couldn't believe I missed that huge sign on the ceiling. That was kind of nuts. Where's... Which room was hers? Oh. Job assessment. It's a mess! Begin cleaning cycle? Yeah. Say, yes. She is a mess. No. I don't think she enjoyed her time there. Uh, this unit is not registered to translate words in the Canaan language. <laughs> She's gonna have a hell of a hangover, that one. Oh well, it's on her. It's up to her what she does. Right. So. Our fuel cells are now primed with Alta Vitae gas. As the organics say, let us hope we do not explode in transit to the groundbreaker. Hey, Welcome yeah. back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Uh, nothing new. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's get this stuff off my bloody ship. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Okay, nice. Okay, you need to sober up. Uh, Ellie? Oh. So I'm going to leave you behind. Ellie, I'm going to take you and... Felix, I think. Because I just haven't taken Felix anywhere yet. Felix adds more to persuasion. Wow. Anyway, while we're in town, let's, um, you know. I hope she doesn't try and stiff me on the deal. So why the hell am I getting all that then? Persuade, 123. 10% support. Bonus support persuade. A nice hat, silver tongue. Plus 14 from Felix. Oh. So he's quite persuasive. Bonus support. Persuade plus 10. Damage to carrying enemy 20. Repair. Yes, of course. Why we're so persuasive? I need those sort of bonuses for lock picking and such, but I don't have them. Right. So, first port of call, we're going to go and talk to uh, Sublight. Get this crap off my bloody ship. Because reasons. Where were they? This side, yeah, there you go. Sublight. Hi. Salvage is a family business. We've got each other's back. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, she better be happy with this stuff. I like that we get the stupid music while we're in here. <laughs> right, I got your gas. 
that gas is going to make us a fucking mint. A hundred twenty-some cubic meters of it, at a million bits a pop. Take this, you've earned it. When we get buyers lined up, I'm gonna buy a gold toilet to shit in. <laughs> You're not the only one who enjoys the finer things, Lilia. You know what? Fuck it. Enjoy yourself. I invest in the happiness of my workers, and you deserve a bigger cut. Monarch isn't exactly a walk down the lanes of Byzantium. But here you are with all your limbs attached. Call me impressed, contractor. Well, in case you were curious, no one was following me. No one you saw, anyway. Glad to see you're looking out for yourself. I hope you kept the Unreliable's engines warm. Because I got another job lined up for my new favorite contractor. Oh, really? They're gonna salvage me a space station. Heliospheric Research Station 1084, to be exact. I want it. Cobwebs and all. Interested? Ooh. Sounds like a major business expansion. It pays to get in on those early, you know. Yeah, I kind of like the sound this of that. This opportunity won't come around again, Captain. Um... How did a research station become salvage? Right now, it's only salvage on paper. Systems and comms have gone dark. Poke around if you're curious why. Uh -huh. While the board lets 1084 gather dust, you're gonna swoop in and plant Sublight's flag. Perfectly legit, perfectly legal. Sounds risky. Have you got a buy lined up? Not this time. The board tolerates our business up to a point, and selling off a station full of their old gear and terminals crosses that point. Okay. But if we were to move in and commandeer the station as a sublight salvage remote office, that's a different matter. Legally gray by comparison. More of a squatter situation. Oh, screw the board. Count me in. Here, this override bypass should get you into the station systems where you can plant my flag. And one last thing. When you get there, make sure you aren't followed. We wouldn't want that. Okay, wink and nod. Glad we understand each other. I'm on the heels of something big. Play your cards right and I'll clue you in. But right now, I'm not sure who I can trust. Fair enough. Just be careful. Someone might try and use you to get to me. Okay, and I am going to examine your book. Sublight, a legitimate business. Contractors, if the authorities are on your heels, our legal team has pre-approved you to recite this passage from the colonial trading rights. Pursuant to the regulations following the internally preserved Borst, such a business entity would therefore be entitled to gather, maintain and ultimately dispose of decommissioned agricultural hardware and accessories for profit or convenience. The short vision, if we handed, handle potted meat, we can legally salvage tractors and tractor parts. That's why I keep a can of Borst on Sublight owned safe deposit box off world. That's why the goods you bring in are catalogued as farm equipment. Everything we do is perfectly legal. Now bring home the bacon. Or some bacon. She got it. Will I ever get through that door? I could. But I really don't think she'd like it. If we ever get sneaky enough, I might try it. What do you know, Felix? Somehow, I always find my way back to the Groundbreaker. So how did you end up on the Groundbreaker? Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. <laughs> and you were raised by a pack of uh, sprats, yeah? That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. <laughs> Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back bays. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. Okay, how are you a stowaway? That's what they called us. Orphans with no family, no company to take us in, nowhere to go but the back bays. The words a touch kindlier than rung leech, but the meaning's just as clear. If you can't support your own self, you don't deserve to be on the Groundbreaker. Hmm. How did you manage? Same way we all do. Look for work and hope somebody would give me a shot. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. 
Foreman and I never got on. Oh, yeah. The incident with the tossable. Felix, you can't just attack your foreman, though. Yeah, I hear you, boss. It sounds like I was out of line, right? Swinging on my own foreman like that? Yeah, just a bit. But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a tossball stick? That felt good. That felt real good. You ought to try it. <laughs> I wish I had the melee now. I know I've had plenty of practice bludgeoning people. Um, You couldn't have been more diplomatic about it? Yeah, I mean, in theory. But I wouldn't have felt half as good. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. Mm hmm. I'm glad you're not wasting your life hauling boxes. Yeah. I guess my ship did arrive in the end. I've got you to thank for that. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going. Yep, yeah, okay. He's a curious one, Felix. Yes, he is. But this is it, you see, I got my full crew. Okay, the Ice Palace. Wow, that's pretty interesting. However, we've got all this stuff to do, and this, and I think it probably... Hawthorne's Terminal mentioned searching the black market vendors on Groundbreaker and Fallbook. Acquire the science weapon on Monarch? Well, apparently I haven't. Interesting. But that's where we're going back to, folks. We'll get to that salvage job... ...pretty soon, I think. I'm just glad I haven't got that bloody gas on my ship. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. You're adjusting before you pull. You're anticipating it. You... Of course I'm anticipating it. What if I shoot a friend on accident? That's on account of your stance. You want to lean into it. Embrace it. Work with it. You're in control here, Parvati, not the gun. Don't let a hunk of metal jerk you around. You've been around powerful machinery all your life. And you're always in control, right? I guess that's kind of like when the filler's shooting 600 cans of near molten sal tuna down the conveyor while I'm trying to tune a belt. Here, stand like me, just so. Hip square, lean forward a little. It's just equipment, and you're just an engineer using it. Ah! Okay. We'll try again later. You'll get it. I promise. <laughs> well, I hope so. Right, let's dump some gear in here. Uh, right, I'm going to dump a bunch of this stuff. I'm not... I might give that to one of them. Range weapon skill... Plus 10. Yeah, I'm going to give that one to... Someone. That's pretty nice, though, with the long guns. 21 armor. I've already got one of those. Ooh, I might keep that one. Okay. So now, if I... Felix, he likes... Grenade launcher. Pretty nice. Ellie, and I want... Akoya... That's just incredible. Tremor, cleaver, candy cane, okay. Armour, she does have on that. Defence skills, but this is... Right, that makes you really tanky. Yes, it does. Right. Now, do I want to take Felix, or do I want to take Sam again? I think we're going back to Fallbrook. We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain. 
captain. Nice. Okay, let's grab the crew. Please avoid damaging. <sighs> Gotta take Nakoya. Sorry, Felix. I need her. Yourself or others while you are out. And I like taking Ellie. Just because it's Ellie. <laughs> 